Welcome back to Anime Scoville Reviews. I'm here today to review a classic, an anime giant, Cowboy Bebop. And to review that, I'm going to consume some uh, classic KC sauce grinders. Uh, it's BRW Molten. Brew Molten, Brew Molten, Brew Molten, I don't know. Uh, yeah. So uh, let's get into it. If you haven't eaten at Grinders, I highly recommend it. Like I highly filled this spoon full of sauce. I don't know if that's a mistake yet. But that's what the rest of the video is about. All right. <coughs> so, how would Bebop, for those who don't know, is a sci-fi series. It's all futuristic, um, like, it's, how do I say, kind of more rooted in reality in a way, like, a lot of the technology is more believable, you see, sh like, stuff failing left and right, you see machines that still look cumbersome, even though they were designed to be in the future, um, I think there's some charm to that, um, character development is the name of the game with a catch, a big thing about this series is that, uh, it, while enjoyable all the way through, I don't think there's a whole lot of dull moments in this show. Um, the plot is really chopped up in between a lot of the episodes. Um, you have a handful of episodes where you have a character called Vicious that ties to uh, one of the main characters, um, Spike. And that's when you know stuff's about to go down. Uh-oh, we're not going to laugh this episode. Some serious is going to happen. Um, between Spike and Vicious and something's going to... So, along the way, they gather more. It's It starts off with just two characters and then they start to add people to the Bebop as their big ship. And uh, so, with that being said, with so little plot focus overall, it's, it, it's a lot of filler if you look at it through that lens. But the interactions between the characters, I mean, you have Ed who nobody knows if it's like truly a girl or a boy the whole time. Just a goofy kid that's also an insane genius. A uh, hacking expert develops their own software. And uh, there's a little uh, corgi, Ein. And people love corgis because of this show. Yeah, that's right. This started it. And uh, even Jet, uh, the other guy who pilots the Bebop, he has his whole own dark backstory. And uh, they go into it a few times on one of those handful of plot-related episodes, like I said. Uh, Faye, who's a gambler, um, racked up a bunch of debt and just kind of hiding out, but also helping the guys uh, gather money and steal their money. So, uh, absolutely recommend the show. I definitely love it. Um, All-time favorite for me. There's a reason that it is as classic as it is. Uh, the music, I mean, that defines the show. The animation is crisp. Especially with Blu-ray re-releases. They did a DVD re-release that remastered it. Either way, you're going to enjoy it. Uh, the animation's nice and clean. It's a mature tone, but not overly so. Not brooding, except for the plot episodes. Um, full of great humor. Um, yeah, still relevant today. It, it feels... If it wasn't for the fact that you could kind of see in the animation that it's from an older time period, you, you would, could swear it was made currently. It it's, stands up great today. Um, absolutely spicy. I would say this show is like a habanero pepper drizzled in ghost pepper. It's, it's so good. Uh, there's always something to go back for. I can just put in any disc and enjoy whatever episode pops up. This, on the other hand, grinders, delicious. I absolutely recommend eating here. Um, weak sauce, weak, molten. What does that mean? It means there's nothing. I mean, this was like, if you've had the hottest sauce at Taco Bell, it's not that. Delicious, but not for spice. 